nah, it was just we didn't tackle. Would you feel like, I mean, in terms of their, their run game, what made it so difficult to slow? We just didn't tackle. Didn't tackle? Yeah. You feel like you guys were in spots to, to make plays and run down center? Yeah, we just didn't tackle. Just to get better. I mean, just continue to keep fighting and get ready for next season. I mean, you can't really dwell on this loss, even though it hurts, I mean, the most that I had lost this season. But uh, you just got to keep pushing. What's hardest to tackle a guy like John? What makes him hard to tackle? I mean, he just keeps his legs running, and you just got to, like I said, you just got to tackle him. Was well, the quarterback uh, he's a good athlete? Did he, did he surprise you guys a little bit with the way that he ran the ball? No, nah, it's just some, you just gotta, we just had to do our jobs. People just weren't doing their stuff the right way, and that's all it was. You said that this loss hurts more than anything. This season is that just because of the Civil War rivalry and that sort of thing? Yeah, definitely. You can't lose this game at all. I mean, that's it's that simple. I mean, this is for the state of Oregon, and we have to live 364 days until the next time we can get a chance to take it back. What did that, what did that mean to this team going into this game, knowing that we're, you know, we're not going to be 500, but you know, this is the Civil War. It's for the state. What did, what did that just mean? I mean, the record didn't mean anything to us. I mean, it, it was it was a Civil War. You have to win the Civil War, and it's just that simple. You can talk with. I mean, no, we just we just focus on playing the game and going out there trying to get the win. I mean, we don't really try to pay attention to much outside noise because it's just outside noise to us. I mean, health has done a great job of keeping everything calm, cool, and collected, and we just gotta we just gotta, we had to follow up. Yeah, all the players, you know, support him and Coach Debbie as want all of them back next year. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, the the coaches. I mean, they recruited us. And they're the guys we came here to play for, and we and we and we're looking forward to play for them. Are you confident that this is the coaching staff that can turn it around? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have a bunch of great coaches, a bunch of great guys on this team. We just got to find the, the right way to get in. And we're, just, we're just a really young team right now. We got to find a way to pull it out next year and get to the grind of the offseason, the winter and the spring, and really really get ready for fall camp and just get ready to go. Struggles this season. Any simple, easy fixes for you guys now that you have your experience? Or is there more to just no, it, it's just it's just little things that we didn't do. I mean, as you can tell, it's a little like you don't tackle, you don't wrap up, and the guy goes for however many yards and however many touchdowns he had, and you lose games, and that's what we've done this whole season. Right, the issues with tackling is that a toughest thing, a lack of technique? What, I mean, what, what accounts for that? I mean, I I couldn't tell you. I mean, I'm not a coach. I don't I don't break that down. That's not my job. I go out there and I and I try to tackle. That's that's what I have to do. And uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, you got to gang tackle big backs like Ryan Nall, and he did a great job. Bravo to him. But uh, we'll be back. So being so young, um, how how important is it for this team to really kind of stick together with some of your players, it's your core players, returning next year? It is big. I mean, we got to all get on the same page and on the same boat and uh, buy into the process and this off season and really get ready to go. Did any of your players kind of step up in the locker room to tonight's game and talk or say something? No, we just let the coaches talk and we. Uh, just lick our wounds and get ready to go for next season. How do you make sure everybody's on the same page and buys in next season? Just off-season workouts. Make sure everybody shows up on time, keep everybody accountable. And just self-accountability is a big thing, and uh, we have to get better on that. Troy, the issues with tackling, is that a toughest thing, a lack of technique? What, I mean, what, is, what accounts for that? I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I'm not a coach. I don't, I don't break that down. That's not my job. I go out there and I, and I try to tackle. That's, that's what I have to do. And uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, you got to gang tackle big backs like Ryan Nall, and he did a great job. Bravo to him. But uh, we'll be back. But being so young, um, how, how important is it for this team to really kind of stick together with some of your players, it's your core players, returning next year? It is big. I mean, we got to all get on the same page and on the same boat and uh, buy into the process and this off season and really get ready to go. No, we just let the coaches talk and we uh, just lick our wounds and get ready to go for next season. How do you make sure everybody's on the same page and buys in next season? Just off-season workouts. Make sure everybody shows up on time, keep everybody accountable. And just self-accountability is a big thing, and uh, we have to get better on that. Um, in the past, there's been team leaders for every position group. Is that yeah, definitely. I mean, John Reagan is leader for the linebackers. Henry Mondo is leading for the D line. Tyree Robinson is leading for the secondary. So I mean, those three guys. I mean, John Reagan is leaving. So I mean, someone has to step up in that room, and uh, I hope it's going. I, I'm going to step up in that room, and I'm going to lead them. Where do you think the defense made improvement this season from the start of the year to now? Just effort, and uh, I hate to say, but we tackled a little bit better towards the end than we did at the beginning. But uh, today we kind of slipped back into our old ways and weren't wrapping up and weren't running our feet. So that's that's a big problem.
Could you sense there was sort of a fatigue factor? Oh, no, no. For, nah. No, no fatigue. It was just, I, I really couldn't tell you what it was. I mean, I think the rain threw a couple guys off, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's a guy with the ball you have to bring down to the ground or he's going to score a touchdown. That's what he did.